How are you guys doing today? Today we are going to do some garage sailing, and I am work. I am doing my um, job here as well. But there's a couple of garage sales that I'm going to hit. Um, it's slow today for what I do. I'm self-employed, so it's slow. So I'm going to try to do uh, some garage sailing on the way to some of my routes. So uh, yeah, let's see what we can uh, find today, and uh, hopefully I can get some videos. It depends on the people. If they allow me to tape on there, if not, I'll just show you what I got after, if I got anything at all. So if, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, if you can, um, and we'll see what we can find. In one and a half miles. Okay, sorry, there's a little glare there. Um, there wasn't much there, because I guess they ran the this sale. I mean, there's two more. I'll see if we can get to them today, which I know I'm going to. Um, but there was, uh, they started this yesterday. There wasn't really much there. But I found this here. I thought it was uh, pretty cool. It's a little cook jar, or uh, cookie jar if you want to call it, whatever. It's a uh, microwave, freezer, and dishwasher safe. Uh, Horner, Honor, that's how you pronounce it. But other than that, it is also a salt and pepper shaker. There's this and this. So, oh, sorry, got to turn around the other way. But no dings, no scratches. Um, nice piece. I already, uh, already got uh, buyers. I know that'll that'll uh, buy this. No problem. Oh, more people going in there. Yeah, there wasn't really much um, that I like. That I can deal with there. Oof, make sure I don't break it. Um, yeah, I got that. So uh, it's a good find there. So let's go back to my uh, other job that I do, and uh, I'll try to get more um, videos of the next. There's two more garage sales I got to get to. Um, I got to order to pick up. I got to do that, and then I'm gonna go jump on those and see if we can get out of those. Be right back. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. How much for your place? Is this is, is it work, you know? The place, yeah, it's just been sitting there. I wonder if the kids would like that. How much would you take for that? Uh, if you make an offer, I've, um, it comes, that one comes with a memory. Oh, the memory card, can, yeah. Yeah, where they can do multiple things. Like oh, okay. Yeah. Does it have any controllers or no? I don't. No. No. I don't think that's how to get controllers. No, no, they're either easy. I'll have to see if that's what they have. Because they have a, an older system that just doesn't work anymore. They oh. used and abused it. Oh, no. And they, they Believe got... me, my, these machines haven't been used long. <laughs> that much. Bella, stop. Okay, we got to went to another garage sale as you just saw. I did pick up a couple items. I'll show you here in a minute. I don't want to show you while I'm driving. I got to get to uh, a stop for an order. Um, actually, let's see. There's this little stop sign here. We'll get to. Let's see if we can't show it here fast. I did get two NASCAR shirts. Um, they're a couple bucks a piece. Um, I'll probably sell them for like 10, 10 each, uh, Dan Earnhardt. Um, they're, they are extra large, so yeah, we'll, I mean, they're, I've been washed, so probably not that big. And I got a um, five-piece winner, um, winner wish table set. Make sure it's going to be behind me. I'm trying to see if I can get this off here. here. We got this for a few bucks. Um, this will do um, pretty good. I looked at no 
chiggers or nothing on there. Well, chiggers are uh, damaged, so that's what I call, call them. I think I heard somebody call it that, so it's sort of stuck in my head. So I got that too, so that's not bad. Um, definitely made um, good money on this. Oh, I'll make good money on it. Um, pretty decent profit. So let me see if I can hit the other garage sale later, and uh, yeah, we'll get back to you. I want to say something here, guys, but I got it fresh in my head. Um, someone had asked me about how do I price stuff and why do I price them so low. Um, you got to figure, like the one thing that I showed you, the uh, the Anirondack, um, the bowl and the salt and pepper shakers, that is selling for right around $50, <clears throat> but I have it listed for $25 and it's actually already sold. You got to sell by your area. Not you don't you can't sell by things that what they're worth. Because the area that you're at may not, people around there don't have that kind of money, so you gotta sell it to suit your area. Um, and I know I've I've could have made a lot more money than what I've done. Um, people tell me all the time you could make you know this on that, that and that, and you're selling it cheaper. Because I sell it because I don't like shipping. Because stuff gets damaged, I'd rather sell it locally cheaper and turn it. You know, turn it, get out of it, go to the next item. There are some stuff that, you know, I see the price, I, I really can't budge on it. And some of the people that I deal with understand that and they know that. So, and I always show people, the people that come around the most, I always show them what the things are worth so they don't think I'm trying to rip them off because they, they might see something that, well, it's kind of high and I show them the comps on it, what they're actually selling for. And people that are selling this, they're thinking, well, I'm selling one thing, so I'm gonna to try to make as much money as I can on it. But the way the volume that I sell, it's overall sales. It's not just one item. It's the entire month or the entire week or the entire day is the bottom price line that I look at that I have to look at. So if I sell something cheaper, but I'll sell something a little bit higher on the other end, it all comes out to the pretty much the same amount of money. I don't. I'm not shipping it, so I'm not taking my time to ship it. I'm not. Um, listing it in 10 different places you know doing description which you know is my time and I tell people if you're going to do something like that you got to figure to pay yourself the time that you're there the um, say and I do 20 bucks an hour when I do storage units I figure that in to my o my overall profit range you know 20 bucks an hour 5 hours that's unboxing uh getting stuff labeled, looking it up, um, posting it, that all you should be paying yourself if you do the kind of volume that I do. If you're doing one or two things, you, you price it the way you want to, but I can't do that, I don't do that. I price it accordingly to the area that you're at, to what you can make, but you also want people to come back to, so you don't wanna rip them off and you'll never see them again. You get them pr priced right, in the middle, you know, you don't have too high. The area that I'm at, there's, you know, we're, we're not, we don't have tons and tons of money in this area. So I price it accordingly. I mean, I do a lot of dollar sales. I, there's some stuff, like I said, there's higher end, but I don't price them all the way to the top to where people cannot buy them. So I'm sitting on them and sitting on them and sitting on them. It makes me no money. Price it, even if I get the money back that I put into it, it's, at least it's gone. I go to, on to the next thing. If it sits for too long, I'll get what I paid for it, and that's it. If it's a dollar, if it's 50 cents, whatever. I'll get it, gone, see ya. And I do give away a lot of stuff, too. So I give a lot, away a lot of free stuff. So you keep that in mind, and you'll uh, you'll also be able to uh, get people coming back. I have a lot of return customers. Um, even if I do a grad, dollar garage sale, there's still people that come in that would do the dollar sales. They just, in case there's something else that they... I don't have listed that they know I have and they'll come and get it. So you guys gotta keep that in mind when you're pricing stuff and uh, looking around. So that's it for today. I'm actually not gonna have time to go to the other um, garage sale, maybe tomorrow. Um, I am really, really busy at my my um, self-employment job <laughs> that I'm doing um, delivery stuff. So I do that for myself, I work for myself. I said that before, I don't work for uh, anybody anymore basically a third con third person contractor for companies so that's good do what I want when I want my own time 
So don't forget, hit that thumbs up. Um, leave a comment if you want to. Um, if you see anything in the video, which the probably by the time you see the video, some stuff probably sold. I know the, sorry, got Harper. The uh, Anirondack, the moose, the salt pepper shaker, that's already gone. Haven't sold these shirts or the uh, winner, what is that called? Winner Wishes table set. It's napkin holder, two salt, or salt pepper shaker, uh, creamer and a sugar holder. So that's actually, it's a nice set. Um, surprised that it was actually still at the garage sale. They, all their other stuff was, uh, Christmas stuff was sold. sold. Oh, but that was the only one I could find. They had a lot of, I mean, a whole dishware set. They wanted 300 bucks for it. I was looking it up. Um, it was actually from the 70s. So their price range is right on. Um, and that's even low. Very, very low. Because it's actually gold um, gold plated, I guess, on the edges, you would call it. And I was looking it up. And, I mean, God, I told the lady, is like, I don't mean to get in your business, but your price range is perfect right now. And uh, she, so I helped her a little bit with that. And because uh, they were a new set was that was going for uh, almost a thousand dollars. So sure, three hundred bucks. Like I said, for this area, you want a price low because you're, you're just going to sit on it. You're not going to be able to sell it. Um, so yeah, that's it, guys. And uh, I'll catch you next time.